back to diving into episode number four of the Ranking of Kings, and this one is called His First Journey. So the uh, the last episode, uh, number three, The New King, surprised the hell out of me, man. It was a good app. Oh, I'm loving this, year, this series. It's amazing. So we had a few twists and turns happen in episode three. Dida was named King after King Boss had picked Boji to be his replacement after his death. But there was machinations. We've got a magic mirror kind of planning everything. So Dida became king with the help of his mum, uh, Queen Hiling. But that episode is more about her. I mean, we kind of all thought she was a, a total bitch, not caring about Boji at all. Turns out she's been healing him, caring for him, looking after him. She she had a great moment. She healed a baby snake. She dived out a window trying to save him. She had a real moment with that that episode. I thought she was incredible. So the characters in this series aren't necessarily going to be what you think. So diving into this one, I'm, I'm doing this right right away. I just finished recording my reaction to that one. I was going to go and do other things, but I decided I'd, I, had to see, I had to see the next episode right away because, God damn it, shit, this show is owning my soul. Pin, Prince Boji, he's so cute. His face, when he's crying, it just melts me. And little Cage, I don't know where he is. He's been told, Boji's been told that Cage has left and gone on a journey. So now Boji wants to go on a journey too and, and find him, I think. Although he's been instructed by Queen Harling to go to her family castle and pay his respects to her family. So I don't know what's going to happen. And she had, a, she had a moment at the end when she felt like she wasn't going to see him again because King Dida was going to do something. King, King Joffrey. Son of a bitch. Anyway, I need to dive into the show because shit, it's amazing. All right, um, as you know, time my based reaction, grab your copy, watch along. I also have a Patreon with early and exclusive release content, such as Ranking of Kings, which is getting full season run for Patreons before being released on YouTube. Okay, so you can find the whole series over there, the whole season. Let's do it. Um, everything is, re- yep. I'm just shook. <laughs> oh, you can probably sense. I'm like, I've just got to dive into it. Let's let's just start it. Everything's recording. Let's perfect. Let's, this is good. I'm fine. Three, two, one, go. Recap. And he and he's good. He's good at sword fighting. He can dodge like a motherfucker. I got this. So this story is going to be, this episode is going to be about Domas. What? 1,000 push, 1, push-ups? Have you seen the size of this kid? He just drops and does them. One. One. That, they, they're, they're hard when you first start. Train, train, train. Whack that stick. Oh, we're... Yes, he's good. Yeah, talk to him. Did I do it right? Oh, look at his smile. You can sign. (laughs) I need a moment. He's so moved. (laughs) Oh, this kid, man. (laughs) 
You're just fun the way you are. What a message. This anime is so good. You're fine just the way you are. Oh, I got chills straight away. It's only like two minutes in. Bloody heck. <sighs> so I was thinking like, this, epi this episode is called His First Journey. So obviously I think we're going to catch up with him while he's out on the road with his companions. But I was thinking, wait, are we going to have like a complete Domus episode and concentrate on him? I'm imagining after the credits we'll catch up. His first journey. Surely he has to find Cage right away, right? I was thinking somebody's lied to him about Cage going on a journey. But Boji went down to the dungeon and the hook was empty. He couldn't find him there. So maybe they have exiled him or he's held prisoner somewhere. This show, it, it kind of, um, it feels like a, a cross between Game of Thrones and Zelda. Right? Just like the fairy tale nature of it, the the world. But with all the, um, the serious, dramatic character stuff going on as well. Like, I was so surprised with what they did with Queen Hyling last week. She wasn't a stereotype. There's more going on behind her eyes. She's a judge of the ranking of King's Committee. Do away with future problems. Use him? What do you mean? Wait, the Americans see the future? There's going to be an uprising? Oh, Virgie's going to uprise against Dida. What? Taking strength from his body? Take his power. Okay, so Burgi's gonna go up against Dida somehow, and the whole all the citizens are gonna follow him because he's awesome. What? It was like one of those big blow things from the, um, at the front of a car yard. The, the Divine Treasure Vault. Okay. What was he wearing? So the king's got to choose something from the treasure vault. Which is going to make you go crazy. Here he is. Oh, he's found a lobster? Wow. The animation is gorgeous. Look at that. It's like a painting. Off to Mordor. Oh, he's, he's fired up about something. His stepmom's village. Hi. Oh, he's quick. Man, little. You could lose him very easily. Oh, puppet show. You're just sitting there watching intently. Nobody knows him here. A gold coin. Uh oh. Oh, sneaky looking bandit. 
Somebody's going to attack him and try and rob him. You thought he thought he was dead? He's just having a snooze. <laughs> the bag's gone. Oh, he's been robbed. Fuck. That guy. Where's your bag? Oh no. Yeah, it was Boji's fault. <laughs> your, your mistakes are our responsibility. Yeah, don't show off your gold coins. So now he's got nothing? Oh shit, they need that. A letter to her parents. You dummy. We've got to go find the bag. You're going to find the bag? Oh. The 90th. Oh, he, oh he's so broke. Oh, that does not sit well. He doesn't want to be 90th. He wants, he wants to be number one. You don't know if you're going to take an order from your supervisor? Your superiors? Good, yum yum. Stew and potatoes. Yum, chicken legs. There's the bag. Why? What? Oh, it's not his bag. Somebody else's bag. It is his bag? The fuck is that? <laughs> Was it his bag? Oh, um, so that wasn't the destination? Oh shit! Well, that was lucky. So that was they just stopped at that that place for food. It wasn't their final destination. He fell down a pit. He could have died. Look at all these spikes. Uh oh, scary cave. This is somebody's house. Crikey. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I fell down your hole. I'm okay. I was just walking. I fell down. And Nelly got impaled. I'm okay though. Secular world. I'm one who can't speak. I'm on a journey. Oh. Launch. Where are the other two? Aren't they like, fuck, where's Boji? <laughs> what? There's so many fantastical creatures in this. I love it. Is it sucking up fish?
What? Is making more animals? Crazy dance time. The dance of reconciliation. Oh, oh, wait. Spirits. Sacrifice spirits get reborn as animals. Okay. It's like a big animal recycling cloud. Takes in the spirits and then spits out new living creatures at the other end. This guy's freaky, I like him. Pig leg, ham. That's a whole ham. The essence of life. Pay respect to your kill. Oh, that took a dark turn. Um, what? <laughs> okay, I don't like him anymore. Oh, they're looking for him. That's good. Crazy old man wanted to eat me. Don't go up there. Stay away. Yep, nope. Yeah, let's avoid him. Be a little bit crazy. <laughs> Are you going to be my next sacrifice? How cool is this show? Are you having a good time? Me too, I am. What? Did he track them? The crazy world man? Throwing knives? Where'd they come from? Oh, now he's lost his... His dinner to the foxes. Bebin's dead. Bebin is dead. He got sucked into the earth. Wait. Oh, that's fucked. He doesn't like seeing animals hurt. So he poisoned the food with the knives. He's having a flashback. Oh, the day he met Poji. With his little crown. You were crying, have a flower. Oh, look how sweet. Stop it, this kid. He cares. Oh, his mum. The queen. what he wants are they gonna get recycled by the cloud no they weren't sacrifices they were murdered the gates of hell it's a physical thing holy shit The Order of the Underworld, the greatest knights in history. You're gonna see some shit here this close to the gates of hell, right? Oh, is that a good idea? I've watched Buffy, the Hellmouth. No good thing comes out of it. 
the gates of hell. They don't just like the flames of purgatory. Don't get too close to this shit. You're not one when you're sticking your marshmallows over the top there, right? You can't see the bottom. That is too close. This is too close. What the fuck was that? What? What the fuck? He just pushed him into the gates of hell. Pandora's box? He's having a dream? It's raining. is hope. Jesus. What the heck? Every time he falls he gets up again. Strong unfaltering heart he wards off calamity. Dream. Where the fuck is Boji? Father's strength. Does that mean he's got to take a bite? What? Oh, Jesus, <laughs> I wasn't expecting that ending, he got, he, he pushed him into the hole, the fuck, <laughs> what, what, <clears throat> um, I just gotta read the synopsis, a panelist from the ranking of King's Committee visits the kingdom to give Dada his ranking, 90. While traveling, Boji encounters an unusual hunter who teaches him the mystery of life. While eating around a campfire, an attempt is made on Boji's life. Poor Boji being betrayed by everyone. So why did Domus push him into the hole? He was obviously, it was obviously an, an order, right? Because he was kind of laughing crazily, probably at the, um the absurdity of what he just done and then breaks down and says forgive me so that would have been an order from Dimas and it feels like the Queen knew right away as well because when she sent him on the journey in the last episode she had a feeling she wasn't going to see him again so it's not like she knew that Domas had been ordered by Dida to do it. Oh, it's absolutely pouring down rain outside. How lovely. 
Oh, wow. This show is so good. Oh, my God. Like, the twists and turns that come at you. Like, looking over the edge at the, the gates of hell. I'm thinking they're very, very close. This, is, this isn't safe. But I had no idea. Like, Dermis, like, we had that look in his eye and we saw the hand approach. I thought, they're just misleading us. He's going to pull him back. But no. He pushed him into the freaking hole. And then immediate flames. I'm sure the kid's going to be okay. I mean, he's the central focus. But in what capacity? Is he, we just saw that cloud thing doing the, the sacrifice thing, sucking up the spirits and then spewing out children. So there's, well, not children, the, the other animals. But there's nothing to say that Boji doesn't die now, go into some kind of afterlife thing and then fight his way back. I mean, that dream that Dimas had there at the end with the, with the, the things grabbing uh, Boji and sl swatting him around, but his courageous heart, he's, he's the hope. So, man, there's a lot going on in this show. It is friggin' amazing. It is so good. I'm glad I did two back-to-back. -back. I just had to because I... But now I want to do another one and I can't. I'm gonna, I've am i got to have lunch. I'm hungry. Damn it. Show's amazing. Please tell me what you think down below. Favorite moment in that episode where you caught caught by surprise like I was. Is this your first time watch? Are you watching along with me for the first time? Tell me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Check out my Patreon. Check it out my Patreon. We can get the full season run already. Release for Patreons. And um, yeah, click a link on one of my socials and come say hi. I'm done. Listen to that rain. Amazing. All right, I'm out. See you next time. Thanks for watching.